Well, hello again. This will be our last Devo today out of Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning with verse 1. And this is a, um, a messianic uh, portion of Scripture where um, Isaiah is prophesying about the Messiah to come. And Jesus then referred back to this portion of Scripture as well as he launched his public ministry in the synagogue. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. The gospel message, the good news. Isn't that great to know the good news? He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. You remember, this is where... Um, uh, in a recent study, I just taught through this out of Luke's account, uh, where this is where John the Baptist was wondering, what happened? If you're the Messiah, how come I'm still in, I'm, I'm, he was in prison at the time, how come I'm not set free? That's a whole nother Bible study in and of itself, but this is where he's getting that from, because this is also spoken of in chapter 35, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, these are all the things that took place in his first coming. Now, then we get into this, and the, the day of the vengeance of God, and this is the tribulation period, and then he goes on to this millennial reign, the second coming of Christ. So, the vengeance of our God, this is judgment and the tribulation period in this latter part of verse 2. And then the next part says, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion. And this starts into this millennial reign. To give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And this is ultimately that place of ours in the Lord, that we belong to him, uh, that we are those kind of trees. And think of what he's provided for us, this beauty for ashes, uh, the oil of joy for mourning, um, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. God is there to minister to us in all of our things. You know, when I read that first portion, as I think about in chapter 61, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And what is it upon us for? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon us as Christians. He lives within us and it comes upon us because the Lord is anointed and he's called us and anointed and given us purpose to preach good tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to set people free, the opening of the prison to those who are bound, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This is what's interesting to me, is the ministry of the church, your ministry, my ministry, has not changed. That's the ministry of Jesus Christ. He is still active and alive here on earth. Now, remember, he walked the earth, and he did these things as he walked the earth. Then he was crucified, resurrected and ascended. He sits at the right hand of the Father. He prays that the Holy Spirit would be given. The Holy Spirit is given to people just like you and me. And, and the church then is activated and empowered to walk out this life that Jesus showed us how to walk out in the power of the Holy Spirit based on the truth of the Word of God, the gospel, the good news, the message of hope and salvation. Man, the Bible says, he has placed this treasure in earthen vessels. You and I are the earthen vessels, and the treasure is the gospel itself. You've been entrusted with a powerful truth of hope and salvation to all who would call upon the name of the Lord. God bless you. Enjoy that truth this day, and may you walk it out for everyone to see.